Welcome again, viewer, to another episode of Let's Play Rings of Power. Today we're going to get started on getting our conjurer. Although, actually, it's going to take a lot longer than one day. It's going to take a really long time. It's not going to take me longer than one day. But uh, I won't be posting all the videos at once, so... Right now I'm going back into the Archer Town. Since we just got our Archer, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to buy all the spells that I can here. Because you might as well. And uh, I just actually uh, played ahead just as some research into the next parts of the game so since I did so much I can't re exactly recall if I can use these spells yet or not but uh... you might as well buy them because uh... you're gonna wanna... okay yeah we can't use those yet but when you go up in level the next time you go up in level you'll be able to use the uh... arrow which will be your next damage spell And these, uh, these you actually can use right now, but uh, you probably won't because I, well, I, I personally have not really seen much usefulness in those particular spells. Now, let me think, okay, uh, we're gonna go down to the City of Perfection now, which is the Conjurer City. There's nothing le really left to do here, but I would advise, uh, because... I would advise that you go ahead and uh, do do some trading and get lay away about lay away at least around seven thousand gold worth of goods because uh, coming up I'm going to show you uh, in a sort of in a sort of roundabout manner I'm going to show you it. Uh, something that you're going to want to do to work things out. Uh, and it will sort of improve your ability to cope with the game in the future. So I gotta pay tax. You don't want to fight these guys. Those are the soldiers that I mentioned a couple of videos ago. They'll kick your butt if you uh, don't pay them. When you get stronger, maybe, I would say maybe when you get on average around level 5, but before that, you wouldn't want to mess with them. So this is the Guild of Perfection. And we're going to talk to this person here. Everybody, everybody in Perfection asks this question. It's annoying to have to... to have to negotiate it. So the person that we want to see, Hayes, is... Uh, she's behind a door that we can't unlock right now. And that's that's pretty much wonderful. We need a key, which seems simple, but it's going to be it's going to be incredibly involved. You probably won't get that key for at least an hour. So we would have to ask around town to try to figure out who knows something about this key. Uh, so eventually, you're going to wind up going into this restaurant, and we want to talk to the the nice man over there in the overalls. Except, uh, he looks like he's wearing a monk's robe in the picture, but what can you say? And so he tells us that we want to get in, but, uh, we need the ideal key. He knows where it is, but, of course, he wants something in return. So we gotta get him some flame wood for his spell. Haha, <laughs> once again, seems simple, right? But, no. It's not simple. It's not simple at all, viewer. So, in order to get started on seeing this, getting this flame wood, uh, the first thing we need to do is to go here, back where we were before. This is the Guild and Library of Perfection. We are interested in the library function. Although, I, I could skip all of this, but I'm doing it for your benefit. I figure you may want to see it. 
there is one scrap of paper that we are going to need. I didn't want to talk to her. She does not have anything useful to say. And we search here. And we get a note. If we wanted to look at those, this uh, tells us that the Cave of Fire contains regions only uh, a hermit knows about it, whatever. And, uh... Damn it, that wasn't the one I wanted. It's around here. There we go, I think we got the right one now. That was nice of the music to stop. That's awkward. Okay. We got the thing we wanted. That was telling us the general location of the uh, cave in which the flame wood can be found. Which, we can actually use that information now because we have the sextant, which we acquired, I believe, in the last video, maybe two videos ago. Yeah, probably two videos ago. But now we have coordinates. So, where we are going to go is we're going to follow this very long road up, and then I'm going to cut across here. And we need to see a hermit, or something like that, who lives right here. It's not the, it's not the hermit I was talking about before, it's a conjurer who knows something or another. I don't even care right now. The point is, that's the next place we have to go, and I wish I could fill you in more on the story, but it's been... It's been a long day. It's been a long day that I've been doing this, figuring out how to uh, advance in the story. And it wasn't always easy, let me tell you. It was not always easy. You will find, you'll find yourself doing a lot of things like really just as precautionary measures. I, I mean, I have to imagine that when you play this game, you will, you'll probably save a lot more than you see me saving. The only reason I'm doing that, I'm not saving too much is so that if I get killed by something ridiculous that I can go back and you'll never know that I died because, well, I will make sure to, uh, get a good video where I didn't die. Anyway, so we're pretty close now. This is the City of Chaos here, which is where you will eventually get a character. I believe an enchanter, but um, don't hold me to that. This is where we need to see somebody... Uh, this is a conjurer here. And she knows... Yes, she's been working on a spell that also involves Flamewood. And it's only found in the fire cave. Blah, blah, blah. We already have the coordinates, so we don't get, care about that. Um, so we need a, we need a key um, in order to get this firewood, is what she's telling us. So we have to go to the Lobotomy Club, which is pretty much right next to the place where we started. Sadly enough, all I did was some walking around, and I, I think that... That is about time that we have to um, go ahead and end things, so I'm going to save. And uh, that will be it for this Let's Play.